Good day sir, good day everyone, I am Alex Dismaya and together with my groupmates, we will discuss the syntactic environment when it comes to prepositions. A preposition consists of a word or a group of words that demonstrates the relationship between a noun or a pronoun with another word in a sentence. There are eight types of prepositions and first in the list is prepositions of time. It indicates when something happens, happened, or will happen in the future. There are several prepositions of time, such as at, on, in, by, before, during, and after. The syntactic environment for preposition of time is optional determiner, optional adjective, noun or a pronoun, verb, another noun, but this time it is optional, or it seems like in the sentences, noun in this spot is rare. Next, preposition of time, then lastly, another noun phrase. The preposition at is used when you refer for a precise time. In the two given examples, without the determiner and adjective, these sentences will still understandable and complete. Next, the preposition on is used for days, dates, and specific holidays. For example, we go out on Saturday evenings. Next, the preposition in is used when you refer to years, months, seasons, centuries, and time of day. For example, David was born in 2001. Another example, I will take courses in summer. In this sentence, there is an another noun after the verb. Next, the preposition by is used to express that something happens before the time expressed. For example, I will finish work by 7 o'clock. During, before, after. These are used to state that something happens either during, before, or after a specific time. Another type of preposition is prepositions of place. This one indicates position and they are easily discernible. The three most common prepositions of place are on, at, and in. What makes this interesting is that these three prepositions are used to indicate both time and place. But as I said earlier, they are easily discernible. The syntactic environment of preposition of place is just the same with the preposition of time. The preposition on is used when you refer to something with the surface. For example, the clock hangs on the wall. Whereas the preposition in is used when you refer to something inside or confined. For instance, the dog is in the garden. Preposition at is used when you refer to a specific point. For example, Candace will meet David at the restaurant. Of course, there are several more prepositions of place. However, they are easily identified such as under, over, near, behind, outside, inside, and between. These are my references and let us now proceed to the syntactic environment of the other type of preposition. Now, let's jump to prepositions of movement. Prepositions of movement indicate direction or destination in which something or someone is moving towards. In other words, they show movement from one place to another place, and these prepositions of movement usually use them with verbs of motion. Its syntactic environment includes determiner, adjective, noun, verb, prepositions of movement, and the noun phrase. Take note that the determiner and adjective are just optional. The elimination of the two will not affect the structure of the whole sentence. To further understand its syntactic environment, let's see some examples. An example here is the word to, which is the most common preposition of movement. Each part of the syntactic environment is now colored for us to easily identify which parts correspond to the examples. As we can see in example number one, determiner and adjective are just optional, and we can go straight to the noun, which will make the sentence still complete. Another example is the word across, which we use when we refer to a movement from one side to another. Another example is the word into, which we use when we refer to a movement that enters or looks inside. The next example is the word true, which refers to the movement from inside to outside and vice versa. The words over, down, up, past, and around refer to a specific direction of movement. Now let's head to the prepositions of manner. Prepositions of manner describe the way things happen or the means by which things happen. It answers the question how. Its syntactic environment is the same with the prepositions of movement, with the addition of an optional preposition of movement and a noun phrase. Here are a few examples using the prepositions of manner by, in, like, with, and on. The next preposition would be the agent of instrument. Good day, I am Eliza Joyce Tofenio from Abel Tribi and I am going to present the preposition of agent or instrument. To start, 
Prepositions of agency or instrumentality are usually used to connect the doing and the doer, basically building the connection between the noun and the verb. This connection means that preposition of agency or instrumentality are words that are usually placed in a sentence to fulfill the purpose of placing an agency in a sentence. Here is the syntactic environment of the preposition of agent or instrument. So there are two prepositions used in agent and instrument, which are the by and with, and they are both used in different manner. By is used when you want to talk about an action that was performed by a person. Here are some examples. This cake was made by my mother. The Da Vinci Code was written by Dan Brown. The window was broken by my brother. As you can notice, the action was performed by a person. Next is with. With is used to talk about something that was performed with the help of an object or an instrument. So the examples are, the cake was made with a new mixer. The toy was fixed with some glue. The vegetables were topped with a knife. Now the examples here are performed by an object or an instrument. The critical difference between the prepositions lies in the sole purpose of the use and understanding of the preposition. So always remember that by and with are the two main prepositions of agent and instrument. Therefore, remember to use by when you are talking about something that was performed or done by a person, and with if you are talking about something that was done by an object or instrument. So here are my references. Prepositions of measure. What does prepositions of measure do? Prepositions of measure are used to quantify an object or a person. These include the words by, at, and of. By is the most used preposition of measure, used to describe comparisons or stating standard measurements. At is usually used to describe very precise measures, and of is used when the measurement can't be enumerated. Here's the syntactic environment. An optional determiner followed by a noun, verb, and the noun phrase with either the preposition of measure before or in between it. Here are some examples. That store sells gasoline by the liter. And Marie won against Ren by 10 points. I ran at 10 kilometers per hour and she ate a whole bag of sugar. Here are my references and that would be all. Thank you. Good day to us, I am Maria Redila and I'm going to present the preposition of source. The preposition of source are those which indicate the source of something, a preposition which or whose functionality is to basically show the source of in a sentence. The most commonly used example are by and from. And for the first example is by. It is mostly used as a preposition but it can also be, in fact, used as an adverb, a noun, an adjective, a preposition, or an interjection. Let's have an example here, the building was destroyed by fire, by as a preposition followed by a noun, which is the fire. Another preposition is from. It is used to indicate that something originates or comes from something else or some person. The form of from is from plus the noun or adjective plus the from. Let's have an example. She has to bring her to Finn from home. The two nouns are Tiffin and home, and the preposition giving them are from. It answers the questions of where did she bring her Tiffin from. Preposition of source answers the questions of where. From also can be used after certain verbs or an adverb. And that's all. Thank you for listening. The preposition is in possessive form to show a connection between things, particularly on the possessor and its possession. Now let's tackle the preposition form words and their usage. First and foremost, the preposition of to explain to whom the person or object belongs to. And the syntactic environment or syntactic form of it is the preposition of plus noun or possessive pronouns like mine, yours, his, and hers. Let me give you some examples which explains the syntactic environment of the prepositions of. A good friend of mine recommended a book entitled It Ends With Us and it's good as it sounds. So if we can notice on the sentence, a good friend of mine, the preposition of, um, precedes the possessive pronoun mine. So moving on with prepositions with, so the syntactic environment or syntactic form of it is with plus adjective 
or a noun. I like to eat my burger with mustard. If you can notice, with mustard, with precedes the noun, which is the mustard. And lastly, the preposition to. In tactic form, of it is to plus object pronouns like it, him, or her. So object pronouns receive the action in a sentence. The expression of you belong to me is the example of the application of syntactic environment of preposition to, wherein to precedes object pronoun me. So it's like um, you are owning it, you are owning someone.